let's take a new file to create that audio player the changing the state size and fill with the black color let us save the file and we just need to name it as sound object I'm saving it in a folder click save now I have all the controls designed in illustrator we just need to copy that each control for each element design element from illustrator to flash we just need to go back to that illustrator and just say copy the content come back to flash and just say paste we could see that background design of the player and just aligning it to the stage it is always better to name the layers so that we can easily identify the content let us lock the layer and create a new layer let's go back to that illustrator to take the player background let us copy that come back to flash and let us just say paste in place it will be pasted in same place you could see that clear frame of the player lock it and let us create a new layer let us go back to the illustrator would like to copy the frame for the image back to flash paste in place just every time that we need to lock the layer so that uh, pasted content will not get disturbed let's create a new layer for every uh, element that what we take from illustrator let us copy the background for the time display. Let's paste it here. Create a new layer. And let us take that one dynamic text field. To display the current position of the song or duration. And I'm just setting up the font properties and color they are like color font family size and then let us type sample text there so that we can adjust the width of the dynamic text field and position of the dynamic text field of course we need to embed the font also once we set all the properties we are supposed to embed the font Let's apply the filter, glow filter, which will really help us to get that, you know, the guide of kind of glow. Let us embed the font now. We just need to choose the options and then click OK. And then we are supposed to apply instance name to this dynamic object, dynamic text object, so that we can communicate with this through action script let's go back to that illustrator let's take the background color of the basic controls of the player paste in place now we need to copy all the basic controls of the player like play stop pause previous song next song first song last song these are all the buttons that i want to paste it here in flash you can see all the controls as it is here these are all vector content that we need to convert them into symbol let us choose each control as button and we need to convert them into a symbol and then we need to apply that instance name for each button 
So the button name is previous song DTL and convert as next item. And we just need to name it as play BTN, play song BTN. And next is pass BTN, pass song BTN. And stop button. We just need to continue the same process for every control converting them into symbol as button and then applying that instance name. Now we are just working on next song button. And now this is first uh, song BTN and the last song BTN. So we are ready with that all the controls, basic controls, which we use to control the songs, play, so, uh, stop, pause, previous song, next song, first song, last song. So these are the things. Let's save the file. Let us lock all the layers and then create, create a new layer. Let's go back to the player. Uh, uh, design and we just need to take the seek bar design which will help us to show the progress of the song let us paste it here we're just copying that one after the other object background progress bar and then knob we just need to copy the knob also which we call it a scrubber in case of seekbird that we are supposed to call it a scrubber so let's select all the elements which are related to that seekbar and we just need to convert this into a single symbol as a movie clip. So that all will be grouped together, it is easy for us to communicate to each component of that seek bar. And let us name it as seek bar MC. So we need to apply that instance name to this movie clip also. And let's get inside the symbol. And we just need to separate this each design component progress bar in one layer background in another layer and scrubber will be in another layer so we have three elements and three different layers We just need to convert that scrubber into a symbol so that we can attach it to that uh, song progress and let us name it as SBRMC. Let's save the file. Let's remove the empty layers from the main timeline. Let's create a new layer 
Let us go back to the design from Illustrator. We just need to copy that other uh, two sliders, one for panning and uh, another one to control the value. Let's copy that volume control slider. Let's go back to flash again. Let's paste it there. We can see that background there. Let us convert that uh, background into a symbol. And then we can take other components also inside this symbol. Get inside the symbol, create a new layer, and let us copy the other content from the illustrator. This is supposed to be a knob and the progress bar. Let's go back to flash. Inside the symbol that we are supposed to place it. We just need to paste it and we are supposed to adjust that position there. Let us convert that uh, knob into a symbol again. We just need to select the knob. And we need to convert that knob into a symbol. Just adjusting the position of the knob. While converting into a symbol, the symbol type must be movie clip. And let's click OK. We are supposed to name it. Let us apply that instance name as VOL knob MC, which is supposed to be that volume knob movie clip. Let us duplicate that same slider. Instead of copying that another slider from Illustrator, I am just duplicating that same here. And we just need to create a copy of it on the main stage. We have duplicate in our library, which we just created. I am dragging and dropping under the stage. We just need to set the knob position inside the movie clip. We have instances, both instances are from same symbol. Let us choose the first slider and we just need to change the instance of the first slider. So that we can do the knob position change in the second slider, which will not impact on the first slider. And we need to change the knob name inside that pan slider, which is supposed to be that pan knob MC. And we are just making it center of the slider. Just trying to place the elements in correct place so that will not be an issue while working with the action script. All right, now that we are supposed to copy that icons from the illustrator, we just want to have an icon of, of audio. And we can see that uh, speaker right. I'm just pasting it in main stage.
we could see that both the speaker icons here for fine. Let us save the file once. It is always better saving that file in between. We just need to copy the text from the illustrator, which I want to show that one as song name and the other as album name. Let us paste them back in Flash. We are going to make them dynamic. The title will be dynamic as well as the album name will be dynamic. Select the first text object and then let us convert that into a dynamic text box. As usual that we are supposed to embed the font for the same settings. And let's increase the width of the dynamic text field. So that if the song name is bigger, we can display that whole name of the song. Adjusting that font size. And we just need to select the another text box. Which is supposed to be an album name. And let's convert this also into dynamic text field. Let's recheck the embed options and we just need to apply that instance name album txt. And the instance name for the title is title txt. And we just need to save finally the file. We could see that all the elements, almost all the elements are placed in Flash. And then we need to start uh, uh, working with the action script to make them active once we close the design part. We require that two time displays because want to display the total duration of the song the another text box is supposed to display that current position of the song so i just copied that same once again so that i can get the two displays time displays here one to display the total duration of the song the song which we are playing and one will display the current position of the song the song that which is Play. Make sure that all the elements are properly aligned. Well placed. Let us save the file once again. It is always better to, to save the file after each major change. Let us test the file now. We could see the clear player here is completely designed. It is just UI of the audio player that which I am going to use to create that audio player using that action script. Thank you for watching and have a great day.